Well, tonight, car thefts across the city continue with three incidents happening just this morning. And now a mother of a teen who is stealing these cars is speaking out, asking for help. TV's Carly Dion spoke with her today and joins us live with more on why she's frustrated. Carly. Andrew Yolanda, Tiffany Hammonds says her 17 year old son recently started down a bad path and she's done all she could to try to stop it. Now she's wondering what more could be done if police keep releasing her son from custody. I've been begging and pleading, please arrest him, lock him up, do something that's going to make him pay for the things that he's out here doing. Salute to this mother. Shit. Yeah, I, I, year right there. Yeah, but it's still like that's out of one side of her mouth, right? And then out the other side of her mouth, you gotta be careful with sisters, man. You just gotta be careful because that's one. That's out of one side of her mouth. Press one. They change their mind as much as they change that week. No, no, if he gets locked up and they give him fucking 20 years. Well, I, I only wanted you to keep him for the night. Or, you know, I could have gave him six months until he matured. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, I get where she come. I get what you're saying. Like, it is great what she's saying. I think it's great what she's saying. And it's also, in a, it's also that, like, this woman will tell you that the system is racist. She'll stand on a soapbox and tell you that black dudes can't catch a break. She'll stand on a soapbox and tell you, she'll hear a story about, like, you know, just any story about us. Black, a white dude getting, like, arrested and we'll say a white dude killed somebody in five years. See, they only gave him five years. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he was black, they would have gave him, honey, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. This is just one side of her mouth. Hey, but like like you said about the other sister, you're like, man, this is the best you're gonna get. <laughs> this is the yeah. best you're gonna get. Facts. And look, isn't it like the complete stereotype? You got the RIP shirt on. Like, of course. How do you think that guy Somebody died? just died. Somebody you think he died of cancer. <laughs> yeah, no, somebody got murdered, man. Um, yeah. Salute to Abe the Honey says, Sun Man chilling and smoking. Facts, man. Salute to all the Sun Men out there chilling and smoking, watching the show. Orange hair, lashes, six inch lashes, murder shirt, begging for police to lock up her son. When Tell if me your her son was locked up, telling me you're a sister. If, right. If her son was locked up, she'd be free. She'd be saying free myself. I've been begging and pleading. Please arrest him, lock him up, do something that's going to make him pay for the things that he's out here doing. Tiffany Hammonds says her 17-year-old son has been caught stealing cars multiple times by police, and he's driving without a license. She feels not enough is being done to stop him. I've done almost everything I've could. And it's turning him against me. He's going the opposite way and doing what he wants to do, and which is turn it to the streets. Hammond says when her son has been caught by police for stealing or crashing a stolen vehicle, they keep bringing him home. I think him seeing that nothing is being done is giving. See what I used to tell y'all, like when I used to get caught stealing, they would bring me home. But I think that gliders and, and some people who not, you know, because you have to like experience these things to even know like most people don't even consider like what happens to a teenager when he gets caught by the like that's not even in your you know what i'm saying thought catalog you dig what i'm saying so i forgive people for not knowing that but people who are woke and got big mouths and talk about everything and talk you know what i'm saying those people that's the ones i'm talking about they, i think they just don't understand like, yo, they the guy who put a gun in your face and fucking dragged you out of your car and drove over your foot while he drove away laughing. 
crashed it, and then bailed out and ran and led the police on a fucking 10 block foot chase. They drove him home and handed him over to his mother that night. I think people don't understand that's how it goes, man. It's such a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Because he's a teenager, you know what I'm saying? It's such a fucking, um, they don't understand that, man. Low IQ, low IQ laws by some low IQ gliders. Yeah, they, they just don't understand that, man. That that's how it goes. And you know it because you hear them talk. Like Pavel Lapeer, she ain't around women like this. The black women she ain't around ain't these black women. She don't. Pavel Lapeer has no idea that. That's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? She thinks that like that kid is a black body being criminalized and you know what I'm saying? And all that other bullshit she was saying in that post. Yeah, there's not enough enough program. Yeah. If we just had yeah, one more program, he would, he would by be... police for stealing or crashing a stolen vehicle. They keep bringing him home. I think him seeing that nothing is being done is giving him more of adrenaline rush to go back out and do it again. Between January and August of this year, more than 7,000 cars have been stolen in the city of Columbus. A little more than half of them have been Kias and Hyundais. Hammond says she fears the threat her son poses to others and himself. Since he's left that I know of, he's crashed five cars. And I repeat. This one kid, this one kid. I mean, where's the dad, though, you know? What do you mean, where's the dad? Come on, man. You know, you know what time it is, man. Dad's locked up, man. Who, yo, the guy who got her pregnant is not the guy that's at Pavel LaPere's vigil crying, talking about how she was such a champion for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> for diversity and shit. The guy, she's Billingsley. Her baby daddy is closer to Jason Billingsley, the killer. On the spectrum. Threat her son poses to others and himself. Since he's left that I know of, He's crashed five cars, and I reported each and every one that I know of, and he's still out here. It's not known if her son was part of the group who stole a Kia and Hyundai found at Crumb Park. The Hyundai had been set on fire while the Kia was left in the pond. Now, he, I'm not even trying to be funny. Salute, salute to Abe. <laughs> yeah, that son, man, is chilling and smoking right now. Facts, he is, without a doubt. Um, fucking good, too. But, um... To just steal somebody's car, do this to it, get caught, probably resist, run, whatever, finally get caught by the cops. Because you got to remember, like, at the end of this, there are cops running, huffing and puffing, panting through alleys, chasing him, tackling him. And putting him in the cuffs just to take him home to his mother. Yo, this this right here is literally the real life GTA. Like this is when you are with your friends and you're playing the game and you steal the car and you see a pond. You like you tell your friend, "Hey, I'm about, I'm about to throw this car in the pond and run run out." And he's doing this in real life. It's a game to him. Is this is a game because he knows. Like, but but here's the difference, though. Here, here's the difference that makes it a little bit different. In the video game, you don't physically get out of the car, run into those bushes, get chased by officers that are shouting at you to stop, that are 
with arms, guns, maybe a helicopter over top, maybe call other units, calling all units. They surround the woods and they go in there and they grab you and they tussle with you and then they handcuff you. Like he's getting the ultimate adrenaline rush and then he's driven home to his mom. <laughs> That part is very that, important in the picture. Right. You know on, what I'm saying? And on top of that, in his peer group, he is his status is elevated so much more because of all of this. Exactly. Exactly. Now, if he had just done this and they'd gotten away and then they walked home, even that would be like. That's very antisocial, very destructive. Like you're just taking like the think about the family whose car this is that needs this car to take their kids to school in the morning and then drive to work and then pick the kids up and take them to recite uh, to practice and take the daughter to um, dance practice, take the son to basketball practice and then, you know, pick them up from basketball and then take them in the family that needs this car to do all that. He's just taking it and driven it into a pond for fun. The family that needs this car to fucking, you know, drive, they might work in DC. They might work in the next city over and they got to, you know, commute an hour each way. And the motherfucker is like literally like, um, you know what I'm saying? He's not in good standing with his job. He can't afford to miss any more days. And they wake up and their car's gone. And then the police find their car and this is what it's like. And they have limited liability insurance because you know, the economy's fucked up. And the way to cut kids and save money is to, you know, cut back on your insurance policy. And now, like what? What do you get, a, a rental? Like what, what, what is the insurance company gonna, gonna give you for this? A thousand, five thousand bucks? To put down on a new car. Now you got to go buy a new car for 5000 bucks. I mean, they've ruined people's lives. And, and, and this is probably considered um, a non-violent crime. And oh, yeah, also maybe it, it might this be also is no paper. a victim no, hold on, hold on. crime. Hold on. This is no paper. When he goes to court, they're going to say no paper. Not case dismissed where it's like they're going to look at his record one day and be like, you had a, a stolen car case dismissed. This is no paper. This didn't happen. Did I think you don't understand it. Like, if, if, do you understand? The, the jails and you can't, the, the system wasn't made for this much in one, from January to August in one city that has like, 100,000 people, 200,000 people. Like, the jail wasn't made for this. They can't lock all these guys up. Yeah, from, from how you described it, the step-by-step, -step, uh, the the degradation of the society by these crimes, how it affects the chain reaction of how it affects everybody else. And, and, and this might be considered a victimless crime because nobody got hurt, but this is not a victimless crime, the way you described it. This has a giant chain reaction to this. Dude, to the if surrounding I go outside, community. if I go outside in the morning, my fucking car is not there, and then it's somewhere in a fucking lake or a pond, or it's fucking burnt up, bent around a fucking lamppost somewhere. Yo, <laughs> fucking my day. Like next couple of days, but weeks are ruined, Jack. Yeah, man, all the paperwork, the registration, you gotta get new registration, you gotta get all this new paperwork, you gotta call back all these phone calls, insurance, you gotta you gotta get a new vehicle, at least a rental to try to just yeah. until you can get a new vehicle. The car, the car might be paid off. The insurance is going to give you the fifteen hundred dollars on it. Now you exactly. got to get another car. Now you got another bill. Yeah. And 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 think about it. Everyone's talking about Kia's. If you took Kia's out of the equation, 
Look how many cars they're stealing a year. If you take the kids out. So it's like, if the jail has a capacity, let's say a city jail like this has a capacity for like what? Maybe a thousand. Let's just say the jail, jail has a capacity for a thousand. And this is just the car thefts. This isn't the illegal guns, the shootings, the fighting, the stabbings, the assaults, the robbery. This is just the car thefts. And they lock every one of them up for everything they do. Come on, man. They can't. No, you can't do it. <laughs> you got to let them go. With a, you have to let them go with a bunch of shit. Since he's left, that I know of, he's scratched five cars. And I reported each and every one that I know of. And he's still out here. It's not known if her son was part of the group who stole a Kia and Hyundai found at Crumb Park. The Hyundai had been set on fire while the Kia was left in the pond. About four hours later, officers say after a 911 call, they found a group of teens inside a car near the 700 block of Thurman Avenue. The driver then rammed into a Columbus police cruiser multiple times, causing damage to the front bumper before leaving the scene. As the city calls on parents to watch their kids, what happens when they've done all they could? This mother hopes something is done soon. We're trying. But once they're here and they leave again, then what? What are we supposed to do? And as for those car thefts earlier this morning, Columbus police say so far no arrests have been made. Reporting live at Columbus Police Headquarters, Carly Dion. From a, from a cynical point of view, though, I mean, if you're not getting in trouble doing this type of stuff and you're getting a not even a slap on the wrist, I mean, damn, what's going to stop you? It's like, it's fun. Exactly. It is so fun, man. You're going to literally, literally, it's a gate. 